Welcome back to Fanblade everybody, this is the final installment, we are finishing this base, and by finishing I mean we are getting the finish sorted. I'm starting to wet sand the polyurethane that we sprayed last week, I'm using 600 grit, and I'm going very very slowly because I do not want to take off too much. One good idea is to let the body dry so that you can see where you've been, and you can just go over those places again and make sure you get the whole thing nice and smooth. And once you feel that you've got it to the point where it's nice and smooth, it's time to go to the buffing wheel, where in this case, something went wrong and I immediately burned straight through the finish. I'm not sure what went wrong there. I will do some tests and I'll let you know in a future video what happened there. The fix for it is quite simple. I've sanded the body to 600 grit, now I'm sanding it to 1200. And we are going to repair that broken spot with my old favourite finish, super glue. Luckily that seems to have worked, so now we can take the masking tape off the neck and put the entire base together. I'm going to gloss over a lot of what we're doing here today. There are hundreds of hours of tutorials on YouTube of how to set up a base. If you have any specific questions then please let me know and I'll answer them in a future video. I'm putting a little bit of wax on the screws just to help them go in. Sometimes these very very fine screws can break off at the head. So a little bit of wax just helps them go in a little bit easier and a little bit safer. Putting the bridge on is a matter of running some string to locate the bridge sideways and then measure that you've got it in the right place then just mark it out and drill some holes.
doing the electronics on a bass is actually very, very simple. The way I approach it is that you start with the pickups and you simply build the circuit all the way to the output jack. Wiring for guitars really could use a, uh, a whole video on its own, a whole series of videos, and I will be making a few of them in the future. Now it's time to make the nut. I'm using a piece of bone. I mark it out from the base itself, and then I check it against the design, and it's a perfect fit. I use a saw to mark out the slots. That's as a guide for the file. Cutting a bass nut is very, very easy compared to cutting a guitar nut. You can just use a needle file. And then come in with a nut slotting file for the thinner strings. And then just tidy it up a bit. Now it's time to put strings on for the first time. Once we've got some strings on it and we see how the nut sits and how the bridge sits, then we can work on any adjustments and do the final setup. Okay, we've got the strings on. The action's very, very high. Um, there's not a lot of adjustment left here, so we need to shim the neck. The reason we know we, we need to shim the neck is because if you sight down the neck, the surface of the fingerboard is pointing at the base of the bridge. It's pointing at the bottom of the bridge. That's not where we want it. We want it pointing at d directly at the top of the, of the bridge saddles. Um, so we need to shim this neck. Now the reason that that's going to be a slight problem is because of this angle here. If I put a shim across the back of the neck here, this whole angle, this whole neck is going to want to twist, it's, it's going to want to pivot on this angle here. So what we need to do is put a shim across here and sand out along this side so that instead of twisting like that, the whole neck goes like that. There's our neck aimed perfectly at the bridge, exactly where we want it. Time to put it all back together, do the final setup. up. 
it's a good time while the strings are off just to uh, clean up the nut a little bit, shape it and then glue it in. Adjusting the setup is uh, a matter of course, you set the uh, string height and then you set the intonation. Again, there's thousands of videos on how to do this and I will be making another one very soon, so hit the subscribe button and you'll get to see that. There it is. All done, ready to go to the gig. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone for watching these videos and seeing me create this instrument. Um, it's been a bit of a learning curve, learning how to make videos while trying to build something, but I got there in the end and I'm absolutely chuffed with it. Please hit the subscribe button, I'm going to be doing lots of videos in the future, and if you've got any questions about videos you want me to make, then fire them straight through. Thank you very much for watching, see you later.